Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to What's In My Bag 2022 version. If you're anything like me, I always like watching these YouTube videos for some odd reason. I like watching these What's In My Bag bag. I like seeing kind of their everyday use, what, what people use most of the time. But this one's a little bit different because most of the What's In My Bag uh, videos that I watch are tech driven. So like camera bags, and they're always talking about lenses and cameras and what they do to go out and film the day or their vlog or their photography. This one's a little bit different. This is a real estate vlog, so I figured why not do a real estate version of what's in my bag? Because honestly, this bag goes everywhere with me. Um, if I'm out in listing appointments, if I'm out in buyer's appointments, if I'm out showing properties, if I'm here at the office, by the way, what better place to do uh, what's in my bag real estate version than here at the Compass office? Um, but yeah, this goes everywhere with me. Um, Sorry, if you hear a lisp in my in my uh, in my voice, it's because I recently got Invisalign, and um, they're 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 weird. They're kind of weird. But um, if you are here in San Diego, go visit Dr. David Esham in La Jolla. He's amazing. Uh, but anyways, okay. So what's in my bag? Real estate version. I uh, like I said, I always like watching these videos, but. This is a new one that I just recently got this backpack and every time I'm switching out, it's like I'm a fa I'm a fanboy of backpacks for for some reason I'm a f I like having backpacks. Anyways, um, so this is the real estate version. I recently got this backpack. Prior to this one I used to have a Tumi, which if you had Tumi, like even the backpack itself like when it's empty, it's like super heavy and and then after that i got a vessel backpack which was a lot smaller i couldn't carry a lot of things and sometimes my crazy mind thinks like oh i might want this for just in case or something like that but anyways i just got this backpack this one's the um i wanted a more fashionable backpack i don't know why uh, but this is a Louis Vuitton. I think it's called the Michael or the Michelle backpack. I was a little bit worried about getting this one because I actually bought it before I got my 16 inch MacBook Pro and I wasn't sure if it was gonna fit in here because it, it is a little bit narrow and the 16 inch is pretty wide. And I usually carry a, uh, I usually have my laptop with a carrying case, a protective carrying case. So I wasn't sure if it was gonna fit. Um, the laptop does fit by the way in this backpack, it just without a protective case. So, so yeah, I just have to be careful. Another thing that I look uh, for in a backpack is that it stands up by itself. I hate the tipping over backpacks. It's like, th th it just annoys me. It's like such a pet peeve. It annoys me. And the reason why um, I like these type of backpacks is because in real estate, when I'm here at the office, I usually set it up on the floor. Or if I'm at, a point, at an appointment, I usually set it up on the floor. And so that way it's not kind of tipping over. I don't know, it's a pet peeve and it's always standing up. I can always reach in. If, I, if I'm at my desk, I can always reach in. So it just, it just makes it easier. Uh, anyway, so this is the Louis Vuitton. I just got it. Um, we'll start off with we'll go from big big bag or big zippers to the smaller ones and um and then we can touch base on on kind of why i use the stuff that i use um all right let's dive right in let's go the big one by the way the zippers oh so good i like that and uh these are really well built zippers so yeah it's um a little mesh in the back flat bottom these are okay like i've had backpacks that these are way more comfortable but um in the big one i um, I'm, I'm recording these, the audio in my uh, on my laptop so typically my laptop goes in this one in the big one but and by the way i haven't i haven't changed anything i haven't added i haven't taken anything out i literally brought my backpack to the office and i had my camera i figured why not record a video so yeah this is like real this is a real um what's in my back uh video so um there's a little little i don't know if you guys can see it there's a little compartment um here where i keep a um little notepad it's a notepad i i honestly it's like i always like carrying notepads kind of to jot down my phone is ringing sorry give me one second life of a realtor what can i say um anyways uh so this little notepad i always carry it with me um I, I don't know, I, I 
I feel like I never use this. I do everything on my computer. I have like OneNote on my computer where I jot down all my notes. I used to do everything like handwritten and it, it would be cool, it'd be awesome. And yeah, I would handwrite everything. It just took so much time because I, I'm very organized with my schedule. And now since I got this laptop, I just feel like ugh, just so much better to just it's just so much better to just type everything on, on the laptop. And it's easier because I have it on my phone too. So it just, I don't know. If I'm out showing properties, I can jot down notes on OneNote, uh, the Microsoft OneNote, which is amazing. And uh, it just, it works better for me. Um, but yeah, I still carry one of these. I don't know why I've never used it. I, I don't know. Anyways, so that's, um, that's in my backpack. Uh, let's see what else is in here. This one, I, so... <laughs> This is a Time Magazine. Let me see what year this is. So this is March, um, March 2020. So I got this magazine in March 2020, and um, it's it's a it's an amazing magazine. It's the science of success, and I carry it with me. I I don't know why it it's I read the whole thing like maybe like 20 times, and it's just such an interesting read. And I like to carry it with me, whether if I'm holding an open house and maybe I don't have any any service or any internet, I take this out and I just reread it. If you if you are able to get your hands on this magazine, it's it's really really good. Um, and it just the science of success, love, health, business, and life. Why attitude matters. The value of failure. It's a really good magazine. Um, I don't know. I just I always carry it in my backpack. Weird. I don't know. It's an old magazine. This one. Oh, this is really cool. So uh, this is a book that I carry of San Diego relocation guide. So this book I actually got from another realtor and I thought it was so good. And it tells you kind of everything around San Diego, um, zip codes, um, <clears throat> kind of different neighborhoods and what each neighborhood kind of entails. Like, I don't know. Let's let's choose one. Let's see Del Mar since you know, rightfully so. Wow. We're in Del Mar. This is my Del Mar office and compass. Welcome. <laughs> so this is a uh, Del Mar, Del Mar, where the surf meets the turf. It's a chic beach town that is home to the Del Mar racetrack and San Diego County Fair located north of La Jolla and adjacent to Torrey Pines State Beach. This quaint village features boutique shopping and many of the con con count counties, countries country's finest restaurants that's a typo anyways um so yeah i i always carry this with me um i always say that that i'm gonna do a video about this whole book because there's so good information on here and um and yeah i got this actually from another realtor i thought it was really neat and um and yeah i carry this in my backpack i i rarely take it out though um oh this uh, this i just put it in like two weeks ago so if you know me, if you follow me, I used to uh, work at a car, car dealership. I used to sell high-end cars. So this is actually my um, my client list from Lamborghini. Now, obviously I didn't sell these this many cars, but this was a client list for all of the dealership and it has phone numbers and emails. And two weeks ago, I put it, I found it when I was cleaning out my office, I found it and uh, I decided to put it in my backpack because I'm gonna start reaching out to these people or at least input them in my CRM. Um, hopefully it gets somewhere. I mean, these are all high-end clients and um, all these people on here have bought a Lamborghini. So it's a good list to have. Let me see what else is in the big boy. This is oh, <laughs> David Esham. So that's the, uh, that's my Invisalign. It's, I think it's my receipt or something. Um, this is a postcard that I sent out to a listing I had. Let me see if that focuses. I don't know if that's focused, but this is a listing that I had here in Del Mar. And um, I, I like carrying this postcard because that way when I meet clients, I can show them kind of what kind of marketing I do. Um, it's old. Uh, but at least it's something to carry that I can drop off if I have a last minute listing presentation and I need to bring, I always bring, by the way, I, to my listing presentations, I always, I always bring um, marketing piece. So this is one that I mail to myself and let me see if I can focus it. There you go. So that's a listing that I had last year, but I carry that as a last minute thing. Um, this is my goodie bag. So this bag actually has all my techie stuff. Not all of it, but most of it. It has my um, 
um, SIM card case. It has a charger for my for my computer, um, and it has oh whoops. See when you take weight out, it tips over. That's why you got to keep it heavy. My wife the other day she I was like hey can you pass me my backpack and she carried it and she's like what the hell are you carrying in here? It's so heavy. Hey the more the more weight you have, the easier it is for it to uh, stand up. Now it's kind of front heavy, but um, I could make a whole video of what's in here. It just cables, techie stuff chargers stuff like that and this is this is actually i got this this is an aer uh carrying case i just got this i saw another youtube from a uh what's in my backpack video and i saw him take this out and i thought it was really cool really neat i like the color this is one of my favorite colors it's like a navy or i'm sorry the uh like a military green i don't know i thought it was cool so i got one of these and this is where what uh, what I carry all of my charging cables in here because as a realtor, sometimes I, you end up working at a coffee shop. So you end up working in places, uh, open houses that you know you kind of need to charge your stuff. By the way, I didn't talk about my computer. My computer is a is a 2000. Um, it's a 20. Um, sorry, it's a new computer, a new MacBook Pro. <laughs> it's not like top heavy. It won't, I have to I have to hold it now. Uh, so it's uh, the new MacBook Pro 16 inch M1 Max. It has 32 gigabytes of um, of memory of RAM and uh, two terabytes of storage. I was I was using a 13 inch MacBook Pro before, and I swear every time I I did this videos like, like these type of videos like ugh, the storage was I had 500 gigs like that's that's ancient. Uh, this is two terabytes. I have no issues with the computer itself. I have no issues with anything going on with it. So I love it. Uh, I think it's going to be a good computer for the next four or five years. I don't know. It's a 16 inch two. I had a big display on my here my in my uh, in my office. I have had a big display. Got rid of that. Now I just work out of my computer. Just easier, I guess. If you're working out of coffee shops, everything's more mobile and you're just typing away. So. Um, that's it. That's the one for the um, the big empty now. So that is moving on to the second one. Ooh, some goodies in here. This second one is pretty. Uh, it's not that big. The thing is, with, the thing with these backpacks is these these fashionable backpacks is that they're so expensive. And like, if you take a look at this, like, it feels kind of shitty. Like, I think what you pay for is the leather and the name, of course. Um, but I mean, you gotta look cool, right? Uh, so, uh, so yeah, I, I think you know it's very. I don't. I don't know. It just my vessel backpack was a hundred bucks, and it was a better build than this, to be honest. But uh, here we go. So this is postcards. So what I do with these postcards? They're um, here. I'll show you. Let's see if that um, that focuses. So I always like carrying these postcards. By the way, these post postcards already have a postage on it. It just makes it easier. What I, I do with these postcards, I always set up a goal every single month to give 10 to 15 postcards, to send out 10 to 15 postcards. And these I send out to everyone, not just clients, not just uh, people I know. Uh, it's people I meet throughout the day. Um, I'll give you an example here at Compass uh, where I work. There's a coffee shop. There's a blue bottle coffee shop and um and they always treat me really good they they're super nice in there and i i last time i went in there i think i ended up getting like a free coffee they you know it was a good day for the uh, person behind the counter and they ended up giving me the coffee for free and i thought that was super nice and their service is like amazing and so i wrote to, i actually when i came back i wrote them a note and i said blue model everyone that works here you guys are amazing um, not trying to sell them, not telling them I'm a real estate agent and are you looking to buy or sell? Sometimes that comes off as salesy and really, really pushy, not my style. Uh, I'd rather just send them something like this. And I mean, they're gonna know I'm a real estate agent. And so <clears throat> I, I came back, wrote them, send it to him. And then I went back to the coffee shop like two, three days later and they were like, Manuel. I was like, yeah. And they're like, you're the guy that sent us the postcard. And I was like, yes, that was me. I, I, I just really appreciate you guys, you know, everything that you guys do, you get your customer service is awesome. And they're like, that was so cool. We actually have it hanging up in our in our board where we uh, clock in and clock out. And I was like, wow, that's, that's, that's really, really neat. And so 
as a real estate agent, you don't have to be salesy. You don't have to talk about real estate all day. You can just thank people for their service and what they do. And so I carry these. And um, usually when I'm walking around, I, I jot it down in my um, in my notes section, um, who I send it out to. And it's easy because you can just get the address. And so um, that's kind of what I do with these uh, with these uh, postcards. Um, I got these. Uh, I made these actually on Canva, so really easy to do. Um, let me see. Oh, I have. Oh, Jesus, that was loud. Um, this is my tripod for the computer or for the um, the camera that I have set up right now. Um, here, I'll film a uh, so you guys can see what I'm recording on. So I'm recording on a uh, A7 IV with, I got a Rode uh, Mic Go and uh, you can see when you don't have a tripod, you kind of work with what you got, but I'm here in the office and that's a uh, A7 IV with a 20 millimeter Sony uh, lens and I got the, um, the Moment uh, Cine Bloom, the cine, Cinematic Bloom, um, cine, I think it's called Cine Bloom with a 10% uh, lens uh, or uh, screen thing lens thing on there but um but yeah that's that's a, that's what i'm recording on and i usually carry that in my hand i don't carry it in my backpack um and i have the manfrotto this when i'm not vlogging i always carry it with me or if i'm or if i'm at the office and i want to record a video i just set it up like that and i'm i can record it and it's really cool it's really neat i've had different ones and like you could just do that with it i've had uh, i've had the uh what do you call it the joby ones the ones that have like a whole bunch of legs that you could twist and turn and they're just terrible they're they don't work i don't know why everyone uses them this is this is way better way better so i always carry that in my backpack uh it's either in my backpack or on my camera um and then i have the dji osmo um as a realtor you always have to be prepared guys always so i carry this in my backpack whenever i'm doing an open house or i'm out and about and i don't have my big camera and I, it's something i want to shoot for social media quick stories video i use this this is super easy to use and again it also comes with a uh, with its own tripod so you can mount it so if you want to do like a live story um, all my realtors out there you guys need one of these it's so i know that i know the iphone 13 is like wide angle lens and it's really stable and it's like super it's like you're on a gimbal but this makes this guys this this makes it so so much better and even when i upload videos with uh with me recording this people are like that's a steady shot like how'd you get that shot so guys this is a secret right here dji osmo it's not that it's not even that expensive it's like 120 bucks i mean this is stuff as a realtor that 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 you need like some stuff you don't need and i've had stuff in this backpack where it's like i don't actually need it i don't need to carry that in my backpack and um this uh i i do need to carry in my backpack so that's that <clears throat> got scissors i got uh pens uh, but that's about it that's it for the second one that's you know that's that's kind of the main course right there um small we're going we're going small now we're going into this is where this is honestly where i throw all my all my stuff in like i'm just like keys like wallet and like stuff like that um we'll start off with this is a white balance i like to carry one of these all the time like right now i'm gonna white balance it where is it there we go so right now i'm gonna white balance it and um you know for for filming for my camera because i do shoot in uh, s-log and so i need to white balance it and it just makes everything easier and then i got airpods uh, because we all know there's no such thing as too many airpods this this one funny the, the this one the airpods pro they run out of battery so fast they're really good they're really good but as a realtor sometimes you kind of want to you kind of want to know what's going on outside your ears and so i like these new ones this was a gift from my wife i love them their battery is insane and okay here we go we had a little bit of technical difficulties i don't know what was going on it was weird it's something to do so i'm recording this on the uh what's this the sure sm70 v v60 something mic it's um I don't know. I usually record it onto my garage band, like videos like this when I'm using this, but I don't know. It wasn't working. Anyways, I was talking about these, uh, these, uh, AirPods 
They're all, they're awesome. The sound of them and the battery on them is insanely good. And so, uh, so yeah, I always keep them in my backpack. Um, what else do I have in here? We're almost done, guys. We're almost done. Uh, by the way, if you've made it this far in the video, hit the like, hit subscribe. Really appreciate it. Ooh, I have lenses <laughs> or not lenses. I have the um, ND filters. So this is a Peter McKinnon uh, Mist Edition 2 uh, lens or ND filters. This is a six to nine stop. And I also have the um, two to five stop. It's always great having these, especially when I'm out vlogging. Um, it's good to have them because uh, you know, sometimes you're out recording in the sun and you kind of need, and I use the mist edition. I used to have the regular edition. Uh, I don't know, I kind of like that misty cinematic view on these. I don't know. Anyways, so that's that. And then the case for the moment lens that's currently on the camera itself. And this is the, like I said, camera Cine Bloom Diffusion uh, 10%. So 10% Cine Bloom Diffusion. I have the case, my Invisalign case important to have and then i have extra battery for my uh for my camera because when you record in these uh 10 bit high codec uh videos they the, the battery kind of tends to run out um this is not an underwear this is a face mask sometimes i forget them but i always like carrying one in my backpack um and i have last thing is i have well this little thing but i have um most important thing to have as a realtor is that this is honestly if we could go back to everything that I have on my on my backpack and this is probably the most important thing because as a real estate agent you're always out you're always you know having lunches having coffee getting a a beer and it's like you need your toothpaste you need your um your toothbrush. It's funny. Sometimes I go in the in the bathroom here at the uh, at the office and they see me like brushing my teeth and they're like huh. Why didn't I think about that? Like that's true. You just you just ate you just ate a pizza guy. Like you need to you need this. So um, so yeah, this is this is really important to have. But that was it. That was the uh, what's in my bag 2022 realtor edition. And um, and yeah, like comment below what what don't you have from here um, that you want to have and what am I missing? If any real estate agents out there, what kind of and why am I what am I missing in this bag? What should I have in this backpack? I want to hear what you guys thought of it. If I'm missing anything, I know a lot of real estate agents out there, they don't care about their backpack or they don't care what they carry, but it's super, super important as a real estate agent. You have to be, you know, stay on top of things. You have to be prepared for, for anything that pops up. And it's always good to have something, not just your computer, but not just your computer, but, but something, something that, that will, that, you know, I don't know. You have to be prepared guys. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for uh, tuning into this. What's in my bag, a real estate edition, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.